Joining me tonight in studio is Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard. Appreciate you, Sheriff, being here tonight at this late hour. And on this day, still difficult uh, for so many, uh, a day that uh, we knew was coming in terms of uh, the calendar, but uh, difficult nonetheless. Yeah, very tough. I mean, it reopened so many wounds that had never really had a chance to close, and, and probably many of them never will completely close. It's a process, it's not a, a completion thing. You know, when you have a loss of this magnitude and impact of this kind of thing, I think it's a process to each day, one step at a time, and this knocks quite a few of those steps back. It, it's a triggering day and an emotional day. And healing is important, but you say the processing is really more than healing. Healing sometimes isn't possible. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that there are certain losses that to use the word heal is really incorrect. It's a permanent void in your life. And so you have to learn how to process that trauma and you have to learn how to move forward, honor the memory of them, never ever forget all of the things they brought to your life and make them part of your life going forward in that process. Uh, these families, all of the students at the high school certainly impacted by this, the community uh, as, at, as a large, uh, as, at, at community as well. Uh, your deputies, uh, school resource officers in the school, first to respond, uh, the, the huge uh, law enforcement presence that followed, you know, the shots being fired initially. Uh, your staff, your deputies, they're dealing with the aftermath of this one year later as well. Yeah, without question. You know, we had four tragic losses that day that were permanent, but there's so many other injuries. We had, you know, seven others injured uh, that will have remembrance of that, but there's so many others that have emotional or mental or other kinds of trauma, seen and unseen, that spreads across the community. And so, you know, I've been encouraging people, seek out, get help. It takes courage to ask for help, lean on each other. And that includes our folks, because I ask them to do the unimaginable, to go past scared, wounded, or hurt people to seek out the threat. Because if they pause, that means somebody else could be shot or injured. So if they're focused on us, either giving up to us or committing suicide or shooting at us, they're not looking for other victims and that's their job. But now that that moment has passed, they've got to still constantly process, geez, I went past this child or this teacher and it's so counterintuitive because all they want to do is help. Right, right. Uh, speaking of help, I mean, comfort canine. I mean, there've been a lot of, a lot of ways and opportunities to help. Yeah, we have, our comfort squad has grown immensely since that tragic day. We have 10, two more coming this coming month and they've been super helpful to come to situations where you can see the tension, the fear, the anxiety, the depression, and it just kind of helps lift spirits, give something else to focus on, something to cuddle. Um, it helps our team, but it also helps the community. We can see when we go into events or schools, it just drains the anxiety out of these kids. And so uh, we're really, really proud of the way that that program has evolved. You're a parent, I'm a parent, not with young children uh, at this point, but what would be your advice from law enforcement perspective to, to families with their, with their children about being in the moment, about being engaged, I guess, being aware uh, kind of, of where their headspace is at at any particular moment? Yeah, I mean, kids today have so many challenges and so many pressures on them. You know, it used to be when I was growing up that when the door was locked and the kids were home, my parents went, they're safe. They're in a safe, secure, confident environment. Now kids via phones are, could be being bullied. They could be being targeted by a predator. There's so many other outside influences stay in touch with their kids, talk to them, let them know you're there for them non-judgmentally if they've got a crisis that they can tell you about it because it could be a bully, it could be a predator, it could be suicidal iterations. We've seen so many things with kids these days and as a parent, you really gotta tune in quickly and try to help them in that moment, whatever that moment is. Yeah, we appreciate uh, you being here tonight for the work that uh, you and your team have done over this past year uh, in helping this community and, and our community at large uh, 
through this tragedy. Thank you. Well, I'm proud of our team and I'm also proud of our community, the way they rally around each other and support each other. And that includes you. Thank you. Sheriff Mike Bouchard, thank you for being here tonight. We have much more on the remembrance of the Oxford tragedy. It's on our website, wxyz.com, including the parents' personal stories and how the support is being shown by the Oxford community.